Hi, my name is Eva, and welcome to this channel. And today is the sixth edition, I think, of the series that I have on this channel called Sexy Favorites, where I tell you my favorite sexuality related books and events, and podcasts sometimes, and movies, and all that good stuff. I'm super excited to share with you all the awesome things that I have this time around, so let's jump into it. The first category of favorite things that I have will not surprise you if you follow me on Instagram. You should follow me on Instagram. Uh, because I've been reading a lot of queer YA novels. Um, because since coming out, um, I've kind of wanted to consume queer stories because as you probably know there's not a lot of queer representation in the media. There's more now but there's still not as much as there are in fiction. My first favorite in this area is a book called Girl Man's Up. I loved it so much. The book is about a Portuguese human named Penn who is in high school and dealing with uh, struggling with like her old clique of friends and coming into her own queerness and and herself as like a young adult and it's so good you should definitely check it out the other book favorite that I have uh, is one that's actually nonfiction and it's this book queer a graphic history so this book is all about queer theory which sounds like it might be super dry but the book is all it's like a graphic novel so it has pictures in it and it's super easy to understand and it's really an amazing combination of like queer and LGBTQ history and academic stuff, which is, if you know me, <laughs> that's exactly what I am into. I'm only halfway done it, but I read it a lot on a long train trip that I did to Ottawa recently, but I would definitely recommend it. Speaking of my trip to Ottawa, I visited an amazing feminist sex toy store, Venus Envy, while I was there, and it is, oh, it's so great. It's one of the biggest feminist sex toy stores I've ever been to, so I'll show you some things that I got. I got two pins. The first one is a bisexuality pin because I embroidered myself a bisexuality flag on my hat to wear to pride. Um, and also while I'm around town, if there are any cute girls, to let them know that they should come talk to me. But I figure <laughs> that I can't always be wearing this hat. And so I need another way to signal to girls that they should come talk to me and non-binary people. And I guess maybe sometimes dudes. Um, so I got this pin. The other pin that I got, and it says Femme on Femme Revolution in little like cursive writing. And I just really like it. It's super cute, but also like very badass. The last two things that I got from Venus Envy, one of them is a book, which not surprise you. And it's called Fierce Femmes and Notorious Liars, A Dangerous Trans Girl's Confantabulous Memoir. Um, and look at this cover. Is it not like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? The last thing that I got from Venus Envy is this really cool zine. Um, and it's called Introduction to Gratitude and Self-Love. And it's like a little seven step program uh, with like activities that you can do to reflect on like self-love and gratitude. So I'm very excited to start that. The next thing is, uh, I don't know whether I could call it a favorite, but it is like an important thing that happened recently in uh, the political landscape of Ontario where I live. If you don't know, we in Ontario have a new Premier of Ontario who's kind of like a Trump light. Um, his name is Doug Ford. And recently, the Minister of Education, Lisa Thompson, put out the message that they are going to go back from the amazing comprehensive sex ed curriculum that was put out in 2015. They're gonna revert back to the old one, which was created three years after I was born. <laughs> Part of the, like, the gaps with the 1998 one are that it doesn't talk about consent, it doesn't talk about gender, and it doesn't talk about any, like, online sexuality things. There's been a lot of gaslighting happening, uh, so the government is saying, like, oh no, we're just gonna go back to the 2014 sex ed curriculum. That's the same thing. It's the same thing as the 1998 curriculum. And they've also said like, oh, we're just gonna, we, we'll add the information about like online stuff and all that stuff. And we'll do our own consultations, which is like bonkers because all of that, con all of those consultations already happened for the 2015 curriculum. It consulted like over 4,000 like parents. So uh, just keep 
yelling at them uh, because they're trying to pull some shady business, which is no bueno. I got some event favorites next. Um, so one of them is something that actually hasn't happened yet, um, but I am going to something called Ruckus Retreat, which is a creative retreat happening at the end of August in Wales. So it's for creative people who make all sorts of different things and they come from all around the world and it's being run by a YouTuber Rowan Alice, if you don't know who she is, you should really, you should really follow her. And another human who doesn't make YouTube videos, I'm gonna be staying in London before and after that, so if you are a creator uh, who lives in or around London and would wanna grab coffee or film a collaboration with me, let me know because I would love to make some friends from across the pond. Those are all of my favorites for the months of July and June related to sexuality. I hope you liked them. Please let me know what your favorites are recently so that I can read the books and watch the movies and all the things. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more political things and more chats about bisexuality and all the books I'm reading. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, you can support me on Patreon so I can keep making these videos, but that is all for me today. Have a lovely day. Shout out to libraries. Libraries, I guess, are another sexy favorite. They're so important. You can get books for free. Also, librarians are so nice, and sometimes they uh, might be queer and recommend you queer books, and then you flirt, and it's nice.